Nothing says summer better than fresh ice cream. I spoke to Lulu's nitrogen ice cream owner, Luisa Santos, to hear more about her journey as an entrepreneur. I started in Washington, D.C., where I was going to school, and um, once I secured investment, uh, there were multiple reasons. So one being that Miami is hot year-round, so it was a great place for ice cream. But really what was more interesting to me was I was visiting home during all my breaks from school and seeing this incredible shift in Miami. We're an incredibly young city, and so we're rapidly evolving. Uh, and seeing that so many young people who had ideas could just go and do them. Um, and so I love that spirit. I love that it was still a small enough city uh, that you could know most of the people making decisions in the city. Um, and so it was a great place to, to start a business. This method of making ice cream may seem new, but has actually been around for quite some time. The first person to ever freeze ice cream using liquid nitrogen was a scientist in 1901. Uh, so I did not invent that part of it. Uh, but what captivated my, my attention was the fact that when you freeze ice cream this way, you can take away the preservatives, emulsifiers, and stabilizers. Um, and so you can create really fresh, natural, clean ice cream. Um, and that's where I like to think I innovate. Fresh ingredients are an essential part of what makes Lulu's ice cream special. Luisa makes it a priority to use locally sourced ingredients, not only for better quality ice cream, but to support the local economy. Our growth as a city depends on supporting local uh, because, you know, you can copy and paste the city by bringing in all the big national brands. Uh, but what does that say about the character of that city? Not much. Um, and so to me, it's extremely important, one, because we get the best ingredients when we work with local uh, companies. Uh, usually they're craft companies that are making small batch whether it's chocolates or uh, infusions or growing, you know, the farms that are growing herbs or fruits that we're using, um, it's a better quality product. And then additionally, it, it's local business is the fabric of a, of a community. And so local business and small business also employs the majority of the people in a community. Um, and so I think to see a thriving community, we want to continue to support the people that make it work. Being in business for the past four years has taught Luisa a few lessons. So my main piece of advice is you have to sell your first thing. You have to do the thing that you've been thinking. So think of the cheapest, smallest, easiest way you can start your business and then start. For me, that was like selling on the sidewalk in front of my house um, and then selling at farmer's markets was another version of that. Uh, but you just got to start because you don't really know what you're getting into until you do it. And if you spend a year and a half thinking of this grandiose business plan uh, and then you do it for a week and realize this is the last thing you want to be doing on earth, well, you just wasted you know, a lot of time. Um, whereas if you start quickly and you just start, you can iterate and grow what you're doing. Luisa has seen her dream come to life, and when it comes to Lulu's, her dream keeps getting bigger. So my main goal is just to share this specific quality of ice cream with as many people as possible. And so uh, I'd love to share that with more people. I'm not sure what that means. Visit Lulu's Nitrogen Ice Cream for delicious, fresh, locally sourced ice cream Monday through Sunday in Miami, Florida.